Thank you, Marshall. And as we continue our team coverage for the Matt's Creek wildfire, officials say it's burned almost 7,000 acres. But the good news is about 15% is now contained. 10 News reporter Kelly Marsh was at the scene today and shares how crews are still working to contain the fire. As of Saturday, there is still no determined cause for what started the Matt's Creek wildfire. We didn't see the actual fire at night, but we see it, you know, during the day we see all the smoke and uh, you just wonder how, how this ever got started. All hands are on deck. There are close to 200 people working to put this blaze to rest. Crews are continuing to hold the fire in the south and southeast for the wind to potentially move in from the northwest. This includes a structure protection group for buildings along the Blue Ridge Parkway and Hunt Camp Road. Um, as today, as the wind conditions are coming in, that's when it is a little more risky with wildfire and you just want to be prepared and you want to be on the watch. So they are out. You will see them out and about. Um, they're working in conjunction with Forest Fire Department and Boonesboro Fire Department to come in and work together. The public information officer for the Southern Area Incident Management Team, Joe Mazio, says this wildfire is helpful in some ways. Decomposing the leaves and woody materials, which normally would take a year or two years to, to naturally decompose, fire just rapidly takes care of that, puts the nutrients back in the ground, so it's beneficial all the way around, and the wildlife love the new stuff coming up. The Bedford County Fire and Rescue Chief Janet Blankenship says that as of right now, there is no evacuation order in place. In Natural Bridge Station, I'm Kelly Marsh, 10 News, working for you.